Hey guys, my name's Ethan, this is Cobra, and this isn't the usual setup, I know. Uh, it is very early in the morning, I've got to be up early today, and these videos have got to be ready by the time I go to bed. Um, so, just gonna have to make do with this setup, just these next few videos, unfortunately. But yeah, the Discord.py music series videos are back, at least for now. Uh, there's gonna be a series of five requests, I'm not taking it any more after these. Um, but this one in particular is volume commands, so we're going to be turning the volume up and down and we're going to be setting the volume to a specific number as well. Of course if you find the video helpful at any point then consider liking to let me know and subscribing to don't miss out on future videos in the series. Yeah with that out of the way let's get into it. And we are back with the discord.py music series. It's been a very long time, I know a lot of things have changed, you might see the new IDE. Uh, those of you that haven't watched other series before, if you're just coming straight from the playlist then obviously a lot has changed in the very long time it's been since I last did this. Uh, this is the first in a series of five request videos that I'm going to do for this series and then I'm going to wrap up discord.py content forever. I will have a, a um, video talking about that at some point about why I'm ditching discord.py in favour of its alternative or primary alternative. But for now we're doing discord.py music series uh, requests one because people wanted me to do them, and two, because the alternative doesn't have music support yet. So I thought I would do these. Uh, so we're just going to do them at the end of this music file. It is getting quite long, so I am just going to uh, make <laughs> uh, myself a little barrier just to uh, just to separate the actual requests off. Today we're doing volume controls, which is probably the most requested thing, uh, and it's not too difficult to do, thankfully, uh, but I'm going to provide kind of a few different options that you could use. So I'm going to provide an option where you can set the volume using an integer or you can just turn the volume up or down as you want. We're not going to be using reaction embeds, but you can program the logic in if you want to. So what we're first going to do is we're actually going to define the errors that we're going to need. And there's quite a few of them. So I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to import where is I'm just going to copy paste these, but I will talk about them while you're copying them down. Uh, so we need uh, volume too low, volume too high, max volume and min volume. So volume too low and volume too high are called when you set the volume manually, so with an integer. Uh, if you pass a value that's too low or high, then one of these errors will fire. The max and min volumes are when you t try and turn the volume up uh, when the volume is already at max, or down when the volume is already at minimum. So those are the errors we're going to be using. Uh, now scroll down to the bottom and we're going to start creating the commands. So we do uh, at commands dot command and a name equals. Oh, so, sorry, we actually don't want to do it. We're going to do a group uh, for reasons I'll explain in a little bit. And then because it's a group, we want to do this invoke uh, without uh, command equals true. And what this does is is it allows us to use our group as a command in and of itself. Um, so essentially, we're going to have our our volume command, so you could do say volume, uh, whoops, a hundred, uh, or volume up, or volume uh, down, and all that jazz. Uh, so async def volume, uh, I guess we'll call it group, and then we have self context, and then volume, which is going to equal an integer, and I cannot type. I never seem to be able to type in videos, do I? Uh, so player equals self dot get player. This should all seem very familiar so far with the context. And then simple checks, you know, if volume is greater than zero, uh, we want to raise volume uh, too low. My computer has decided to spin up its fans. I'll try and get rid of that, but um, you know, when the computer starts getting loud, it gets quite difficult to actually <laughs> phase the sound out. Uh, so if it's greater than 150, We'll do raise volume too high. So what Lava Link does, or what Wavelink does, sorry, is that you can set the volume between naught and a thousand. Um, but one hundred is one hundred percent volume. A thousand is ten times that. <laughs> it is ten times what you're supposed to be able to set it to. Uh, so I'm limiting it to one hundred and fifty. So you've got a bit of over volume should you want it. Um, you can limit that to a thousand if you want, but please be careful with your hearing uh, because at a thousand it does get very, very loud indeed. You could also limit it to a hundred if you wanted it to, um, but in the streams we decided 150 was good, so whatever. Uh, wait, player.set volume. 
uh, yeah, this is us actually setting the volume now. So we actually apply the volume to the player. And then we do await ctx.send, and then we use an f string volume set to uh, volume percent. You don't need to do anything here because uh, obviously 100 is 100%, 1000 is 1000%. If you want to do 1000% and you want the 1000 separator to be there, then you can do a colon and then a comma, and this will put 1000 separator if you set it to 1000. Uh, I'll leave that there, why not? Uh, and then we actually want to do our erroring. Whoopsie daisies, whoopsie daisies. There we go. Got it in the end. Uh, volume command or error. And then async def. Uh, volume command error. Cool. <laughs> Glad tab no knows what it's doing. And then if is instance uh, exception. There we go. I couldn't think of the word then. If it's volume too low, then we want to uh, send a message to say. That the volume uh, must be zero or below, and then uh, otherwise, if it's too high, uh, then we want to must be a hundred and fifty uh, percent uh, or below. This is actually supposed to be zero percent or above. Um, I just can't read apparently. So, oh yeah, this is volume group. Uh, dot error. The new pylon stuff, really damn useful in Visual Studio Code. Really liking the new changes there. Uh, so this is our standard uh, volume command. Uh, I will, you know what, I'll program all of them now and then we can go over them all once we're actually playing music because it would be easier to do. Uh, so to actually create a command in our group, we do volume uh, group dot command and a name equals up. So what this will do is allow us to do our volume up um, syntax that we want to be able to do. So async def volume up command self context. We don't need any arguments. Player equals self. Don't get player. You know the drill. Uh, at least tab nine does. Uh, if player dot volume double equals one hundred and fifty, then we raise max volume because we don't want to be able to turn it up anymore. Otherwise, we do a uh, we're at wait player dot set volume uh, value and we're just taking the value here um, so we can put it in our message this is the warus operator uh, if you're not using python 3.8 and then you won't be able to use this uh, but i will quickly explain what that's doing uh, once i've programmed everything uh, i just find it's easier to do that just kind of go over it and then explain it all in one chunk uh, right, set uh, or set two, sorry. Uh, value percent, and I'll give it the good old thousand separate as well. So what this is doing is it's uh, taking the minimum value of the player volume plus ten or one hundred and fifty. So say if it's already on one hundred and forty-five, then you still want it to be able to turn the volume up, just not to one hundred and fifty-five. So this essentially limits it to one hundred and fifty, and this gets uh, the player volume plus 10 and we get the minimum value obviously and this is assigned using the walrus operator to value so value will store the result of this function here this is sort of like a, an inline thing so it's sort, it's sort of doing the same as value equals min you know whatever and then using value later on uh, it just saves a bit of time if you're using python 3.7 you won't be able to use this and you'll need to do it the uh, the old way uh, so that is that function there and it will have a volume uh, up command. What what the hell? <laughs> Why has that happened? Uh, do we need? No, oh, we don't need that. Anyway, we need to do async def volume up uh, volume up error. Sure. You know we'll have volume up uh, command error just to keep it consistent. She does actually to keep it consistent. This needs to be grouped, doesn't it? I'm a man of consistency, as you can clearly see. Uh, so if instance, the context, or not the context, the exception. Did it do the context before? No. Uh, max volume. This kind of the problem with using a, an AI autocomplete. You do need to kind of keep an eye on it uh, to make sure that it's actually doing what you want it to do and not just blindly following it. CTX.send, uh, the player is, whoops, is already at max volume. And then for our volume down, we can simply just copy and paste 
this and just reverse the logic. Uh, so we grab this and then we set. Yep, that works. Uh, and then if our play equals zero, then we say it's uh, min volume. And we set the min volume down here. Change this to this. These changing to max of uh, zero, and then player dot volume minus ten. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure it's just changing. It's already at min volume. I think that's everything we need. Uh, just double checking my notes. I'm pretty sure that is. So now that we've created our uh, volume commands, we can actually go and run the bot. Now before you do that, remember to run the lava link server. I forgot to do that earlier because I'm a bit of an idiot and I thought everything was broken. Um, so if you get an error saying it can't connect, then make sure the lava link server is definitely running. Once that is running, then we can do uh, python launcher.py. Now we've got all these lovely messages. Uh, to say that everything is working, we can head over back to Discord and with the new testing server as well. And we can play, and then I've got some new songs, so we're going to be uh, using some of those. So, first one, uh, Pop Off by Young, Young Logos. Goodness, it's a nice little song. There we go. I genuinely thought for a second it wasn't going to play. Uh, but with the volume, so the volume is currently set, I think, at 100 by default. Uh, we can change the volume to be 10. You can see it actually, um, I don't know why I'm changing the volume, but I don't think it makes a difference to you. You can see it, or well, you can hear that it kind of lurps almost down. So if I set the volume back to 100, it brings the volume back up gradually. And then we can set the volume uh, all the way up to, oh god, if I can type, all the way up to 150. And that makes it louder. And you can see it's already kind of clipping a little bit. And then we can turn the volume back down to 50 or whatever. If we set the volume to 200, uh, it won't send a message. Why won't it send a message? Have I messed that up? It'd be one of these. Volume group error. Ah, there we go. So if, okay, so if, if I could test this now using like volume minus five or something, there we go, the volume must be 0% or above. Uh, I messed this up. This should be volume too high, not volume too low. I accidentally gave the uh, the same error for both things. Some of you probably picked that up, in which case, good for you. Uh, we can turn the volume up, and that turns it up to 60. Volume up again, turn the vol volume up to 70. Volume down, turns it down to 60 again. Uh, if I set the volume to, uh, say, zero, and if I try and turn the volume down again, we're we'll getting error saying the player is already at minimum volume. However, if you set the volume to, say, 145, and we try and turn the volume up again, it will set it to 150. And I'm going to... Oh, God, that's very loud. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just be careful with it. This is why I'm saying be careful with a thousand percent volume because it will be very, very loud. Uh, but yeah, that is basically volume commands in a nutshell. If you have any questions, don't be scared to leave a comment down below or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. Uh, but with that, I would like to thank my patrons on screen for being so amazing. And I will see you next time where we talk about how to actually create a lyrics command. Uh, so I'll see you for that.